give a pretty brown girl her space You can keep your winner I'ma make a better way Hey, hey Better way Hey guys, welcome to my channel It's your girl Aaliyah J It's officially Tuesday I just got dressed Because I'm about to go to the mall I got a couple things and a couple errands to run today You guys are gonna come with me I just did a little bit of makeup I literally put on a little bit of concealer let me actually show you guys what concealer I put on. The concealer that I'm wearing today is the Dior Forever Skin Correct. This is what it looks like. I'll list it below. And it is 4W. I'm also, the color I'm wearing today is 4W, but I think I can also wear 4N, which would be 4 neutral. 4W means 4 warm. So I have on a warmer tone today, but I think I can definitely wear the neutral one as well. And then the blush that I'm wearing is this NARS liquid blush, Afterglow liquid blush. I've been trying to get into it. It's a little like on the more cleaner and like not so blushy side. Like you can see it, but it just looks like a flush, which I actually like because this is kind of like my no makeup makeup look. I mean, I added lashes, so it's a little more dolled up, but I usually would just put on a little bit of concealer under here and a little bit of blush and go. And this is in the color Secret Lover. It is really really pretty so this is the color but it is so light you guys let me show you like it looks really really tinted but like once you rub it in it literally goes away like it is like a flushed tone literally so i really really like these blushes so far like you can barely see it it literally just looks like i got a red mark on my hand it doesn't look like blush i just got on like regular gloss and a brown lip liner but Look at this. I got eyeshadow, I mean, eyelash glue on my shirt. So annoying. But anyway, so today I am going to the mall. I got to get my eye prescription. The other day I went and got a um, prescription test for prescription contacts. If you guys don't know, I wear contacts. A lot of you do know because you guys be seeing me in my colored contacts, which are also prescription contacts. So I go back and forth between clear and my gray brown contacts i think my gray brown contacts look really well on me like a lot of people be like take the contacts out but i think it looks good on me like i think like a lot of people don't even know that they're contacts you guys know because you guys know my eye color like but like randoms in the street they're like oh my god like your eyes are so pretty and i be like they're contacts they be like what like, I get that a lot. I've been wearing them forever. Y'all know that. So, I'm going to go get those. And then, I'm also going to be getting my ears pierced. So, I already have my ears pierced once. Like, I got these when I was a baby. <laughs> I really want to pierce it again so that I can wear multiple earrings. Like, I really like that look. Like, that is like... Like, I'm a stacked girl. Like, I, I wear a lot of ear cuffs because I don't have my ears pierced but i really want to be able to wear my ears like all my earrings and then it like of course i need to do that because i have a jewelry line which we are about to launch you guys like we're about to launch karen and rita's page is looking real good i'm about to show y'all a little sneak peek the page is looking amazing like It's looking so good. So I'm really excited. I'm really, really, really excited for Karen and Rita. We have a lot of stuff planned. I feel like I've been saying that for like six months or like almost to a year. And you know, after a while, people get tired of hearing that because they want to see. Like, and a lot of, I feel like a lot of people got tired of hearing me say, I got stuff being planned. I got stuff coming up. But like, I'm just happy that like, you know, I can finally give you guys exactly what I've been working on. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my ears pierced so that I can wear all my Karen and Rita earrings. That actually reminds me, I have to put on earrings right now. So let me see which ones I'm gonna wear. I have a few earrings that I can wear. I have these ones that I always like throw on when I'm like just running to the store. And then I also have these ones that I also throw on. I love throwing on Huggies. Like, Huggies are like, like these. So these are the Gemstar Huggies. They are so cute. They like 
have stars on them i don't know if you guys can see hold on they are the cutest earrings ever they are really really cute so i like to wear these a lot too i feel like they like make my look look really dazzling the other ones i showed you guys these are called on the drop these are just like a drop earring and then I also have these ones that I wear a lot. I wore these the other day when I wore no makeup and a lot of people really liked it. Like I get, I got a lot of compliments outside. These are stacked and racked. So these kind of like really dress up the look. Like I'm thinking stacked and racked though. Yeah, stacked and racked is my weekly fave. <laughs> Like, I've been wearing these all week. Well, let me show you guys a close-up of it. So, these are stacked and racked. They are literally, like, this gorgeous hoop with bursted rhinestones all over it. And they are really, really cute. Like, I really, really, really like these earrings. They're going to be on the Karen and Rita site if you're watching this. They're probably up. I'm predicting a sellout because people are hyped about everything that we're posting. So, I think we're going to sell out. I don't know. Um, and then I'm putting on this necklace. This is not Karen and Rita, but it is something that I sampled. I haven't worn it yet. This is my first time wearing it, but it's just a little necklace. Cute though, right? Let me know if you guys like it. It's, re it's very basic. Like, it's very regular. Oh, I gotta put on perfume. Okay, let me show you guys the perfume I've been loving. All right, so the perfume that I've been wearing is Zara Fields at Nightfall. This perfume, I... I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it right now, but like it smells so good. Like I put on a lot of perfume, but it smells so good to me. I don't know what it is. I It doesn't ever say the note, but it just smells real fresh and clean. And I honestly will wear it on days like this where like I'm not all that dressed, but like I want to be cute, you know? And I want to smell good, but I don't want to like smell like I'm going to a gala, like wearing Baccarat or something like that. So yeah, I will. I, I like this. I've been wearing it around the house because I have not left the house in like I don't know how many days. But yeah, it's like one of my favorites right now. All right, y'all, I'm about to leave. I haven't ate breakfast today, so I'm gonna eat a banana. Excuse that rug in the back. But yeah, I'm about to leave. I look really cute. I'm not trying to do too much. I know the fur probably look like I'm doing too much, but I rarely, I, I wear it as like a sweater. I got some rugs in the back that I gotta get rid of. But, um, ooh, period. <laughs> Karen and Rita is doing well, and we haven't even launched yet, so. So I'm ready to go get my ears pierced. Let's go, woo! Satisfying you as I keep bleeding. So I'm finally back home. It's looking cute so far. I have to keep them in for three weeks. The total, so I got the $65 earring. So basically you pay for the earring. This is stainless steel or sterling silver or something like that. You pay for the earring, you don't really pay for the piercing, but I'm pretty sure the piercing is included in that. They did have one smaller, it was just $60 though. So I just went with the $65 one. I really like them. I was gonna get the i was gonna get the um the third hole but the pain was a little too much at the moment like i felt like i couldn't go like doing it all in one sitting would probably be a little too much for me maybe next week i'll go back because my ears feel totally fine right now they gave me some aftercare so basically i have to clean my ears two times a week for three weeks but so far like i would rate the pain level probably like literally a five like it's either up to you if it hurt or it didn't hurt so i'm gonna say that it didn't hurt of course it was like a pinch but like it's literally like a pinch like like it's literally a pinch i want to stack od like 
I want to go all the way up. So I'm really happy about that. I'm about to lay down for a little bit. It's like five, literally five. And I just ordered some Chipotle. I haven't ate all day, y'all. So I'm going to eat my Chipotle. I'm, I know I'm going to tear it up. When I tell y'all I'm going to tear that Chipotle up. I'm a terrible I'm hungry and I really want Chipotle right now. So it's gonna be here in a second. I'm gonna just like chill or whatever. So I'll see y'all when I get my Chipotle. Karen and Rita has lunch. Oh my god. Ooh. So far. Six minutes. Oh my god. So many orders. It's only been six minutes. This is the new More is More collection. This collection is lit. It has been worked on so hard. We worked so hard on this. I'm so excited and proud. I'm just so proud. We should look at who's on the site, how many people are on the site. Let's look. Bunch of people are on the site. Thank God for allowing me to You know, this is my first time really running a successful business and it's not easy, it's not for the week, but I wanna vlog this journey because I want you guys to see me and the brand grow. I have worked so hard on like, I've always wanted to be a CEO, like since I was young. A lot of people think being a CEO, being a boss is like about making money. That's not the point of it. The point is because you have a vision for one, for two, you have a solution. And even though Karen and Rita is at the beginning stages of being a jewelry brand, I have so many plans for Karen and Rita. Like, when I tell you guys so many, like, and I want you guys to witness the journey. This is almost like mixtape days. Like this is not like, oh, just because I'm who I am, that means that my brand is just gonna do this and that. Like, no, like I'm starting from the very bottom with Karen and Rita. And y'all gonna watch the brand grow. You guys are gonna grow with it and be a part of it. You guys are not just gonna watch it happen. You guys are gonna be a part of it. I'm really excited so far, really. Good morning, everyone. It's not welcome back. It's, hey, because this is part of the weekly vlog. You guys, I'm feeling a bit under the weather, so I look a little crazy right now, for real. I have a little itchy throat, a little bit, but I don't have like a stuffy nose or a fever or anything of that nature. I'm My throat just feels a little weird. So I'm drinking some tea this morning. I got on this headband and I got on some skims the skims be fitting the body good it's a little dusty it's like hair and lint but <laughs> it's I. Like, it's about to be 10 o'clock i gotta get on a meeting at 10. we got our karen rita social meeting today a lot of people think it's me on the social page because it used to be me but it's not me anymore guys finally <sighs> my boyfriend made me this tea he makes the best tea ever like i don't know how he does it it tastes so good <laughs> But today we have a real busy day. So I have to get on my meeting first. I've been having meetings every single day this week. Like every single day. It's insane. It's crazy to see my life go from nothing to something. And I mean nothing as in like two, three years ago. Because two, three years ago I was in the most miserable place I've ever been in my life. And one day I'll tell more about it. But so um, I gotta put my hair up. Alright, I just put my hair up a little bit. But yeah, um, so it's crazy to see my life come from doing absolutely nothing to doing something every single day and just living in my purpose. Later on today, I have to go to Lily's performance. She's in the drama club. So they're having a drama performance today at her school. And so I have to go there. She did ask for us to, like, you know, everyone who's coming, meaning like the family. She asked for us to make signs for her. So we're going to be like standing up. <laughs> with the sign so I think I have some paper so I'm gonna make a sign and put something um cute on there like she says stuff like yes and like go girl and stuff like that she's very gen z that's my alarm clock that means it's 10 o'clock and that means it's time to get on a meeting so you guys are gonna spend a day with me it's Friday 
I'm a little sick, but we got work to do, so let's get it. Do you want to do that, or are you just like, never mind? Um, we can try. It's nothing wrong with negotiating, you know. We can see. Uh, I can just be like, hey, well, we're actually leaning more towards a, this and, a budget between this and this. What would you able? What would you be able to provide for us with that budget? Yeah, I feel like if we come across more images, then we'll take that up when the time comes. You know, like I don't want to make things difficult right now yeah. when it doesn't have to be. I'm done with my meeting and my computer died. So it's still very early. It's only 11.23 a.m. I'm going to catch up on some housewives and do some unboxing of the stuff that I got in PR. Probably going to like do a little put some music over the stuff that I got because I don't want to talk too much right now. I got to get better for tonight so that I could party with Lily. Not party, but go to her performance because <laughs> I know I'm going to be the crazy aunt. Like, woo! And then I got to make her sign. So, oh my God. And then I got to purchase some stuff for Karen and Rita. It's a lot to do. Amen. Amen. <laughs> hey y'all, so it's finally time for me to go to Lily's performance. I just did a little bit of my hair. A little bit of my hair. <laughs> I just did some of my hair. So her character is a peach, but I don't, I was gonna write yes peach, but I think I'm gonna put like yes Aaliyah. I think I might do that instead of peach. You know, I don't know. I feel like her name will mean more to her. I might put Yas Aaliyah. So anyway, let's make this sign for my niece. bit of a mess <laughs> but we're almost there we just had to run in and get some stuff from the store it didn't start yet it is actually seven o'clock on dot but it didn't start yet um we got family holding our seats which is great so yeah i'll show you guys some clips of lily's performance so i'll see you guys at the performance Welcome back to the channel. I'm still getting over in my cold a little bit, but I got some errands to run. So today I have to go to do some lazy hair removal and I have to go to this like um, showroom where I'm gonna get a few outfits by VRG. They invited me and I'm gonna be there around like three. So I just did a little bit of makeup and I washed the front of my wig, but I might wear a hat. I'm not 100% sure because as you can see, like my roots are over bleached. So I might just, um, or maybe I can like, I don't know, I'm waiting for my lace to dry. But I did a little bit of makeup, just a tiny, tiny bit. I used some NARS concealer. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the best concealer ever. Like, you can't even tell I have it on. And then I just used some. Um, blush from my blush brush i just like i didn't even tap it into the blush i just like used whatever was left over i didn't do any eyebrows um i did a little bit of the fenty beauty mascara i don't know which one this is but honestly i use any mascara because you know i wear lashes so it really doesn't matter what mascara i use i i mean i do have a favorite which is born this way no it's better than sex this is my favorite better than sex but i haven't used it in a minute so i really don't care and then i just put on some lip gloss by joa this is the glassify lip gloss and this is in the color ice queen it's literally like the best baby pink i've ever seen like 
It's literally like the babiest pink. I love this. I have to buy another one. About to pack my bag. Come pack my bag with me. So this is the bag area. It's a little unorganized because this is like not in the right place. But I'm thinking about wearing... Mm -mm. I'm not going to wear that. I'm thinking about... I got my Birkin up here. I don't really wear it as much anymore. But I'm thinking about wearing the go yardy girl thinking about being a go yard girl today i love this bag so much so this is my go yard but honestly i'm not sure if i want to wear this one either like this one goes i feel like but i don't know but this one the go yard is like always just like a calm statement like i have on a sweatsuit so it just like does what it needs to do you know I'm thinking I might go for the go yard. I'm just a little annoyed because I can't find my Chanel lotion, my hand lotion that goes in my bag. Like, where could it be? I have no clue where it is. All right, so I'm gonna pack my bag. So I have to empty my last bag. This actually would look perfect too. Like, this is like a little vintage coach bag that I have. And I have my hair clip on it, and it actually would go perfect. I think I'm gonna wear like my black trench coat. <sighs> Let's see. So first things first, we have the wallet and a little bit of cash. I'm gonna put that in here. And we'll put the cash in the wallet that comes in the bag because, duh. So that goes in the little wallet. Next. Where's my lip gloss? I always make sure I put my lip gloss in my bag. I, that is like, after wallet is lip gloss because I have a new lippy every day. So this goes in here. Okay, and then we got the house keys, AirPods. You see, I got like three different lip glosses in here <laughs> because I wear different ones every day. I'm also gonna put this one in my bag. That one is by Kylie. Um, I don't have nothing else in here. Um, let's see what else I need from over here. All right, we got some medicine. <laughs> this is like my little medicine tube because there's some baddies in the world who have anxiety and depression. So always make sure to bring this because I take it in the middle of the day at the same time every day. And it's the morning right now, so. I feel like I'm forgetting something else. <laughs> like, I feel like my lotion, like where is it? It's just like insane. This is my bag for now. We got a light bag. Like, I'm not really doing much today, so I just got like the things that I just need. I wanna put on some perfume, so let me go pick it. I'm stuck between the YSL Libre and the Perfect Marc Jacobs. I haven't worn the Perfect Marc Jacobs Intense in a while. So I think I'm not gonna wear this one. I haven't worn this one in a minute. And I love this one. I like the regular one, but the Intense is just different. It just hits different. So I'm gonna wear the Intense. Plus this is like, to me, this is almost like a clean smell. So I like to wear it like on days like this, like where I'm going to run some errands and you know, do some beauty care and stuff like that. Intense, perfect intense it is. I tried to wear my hair out, but honestly, like, it was not given. So, I'm gonna wear my hair under a hat. I can sometimes do this too. Like, I like to do this. I think that looks so freaking cute. I might do that. I gotta put on some earrings. These are On The Drop by Karen and Rita. If you guys don't know, Karen and Rita is my jewelry brand. And these are our earrings. Yes. That makes me look a little more dressed up. Earrings will always do the trick, okay? That's one thing about it. Earrings will literally make your outfit. For some reason, I can't find my hole, though. I just got my second ear hole. So, I'm like... Uh, it's like a little confusing and then like I got these long nails so I'm gonna wear this trench coat. It does have black though. Should I just put the black hat on? Cause I do have the blue hat on, but it's cause I have the blue bag. Honestly, like I literally don't care. I feel like I look cute either way. Like I literally don't care if it matches or not. Like when you're that girl 
you can be that girl no matter what okay i feel like i should change my bag now <laughs> no this is fine oh i love this jacket with this wow okay i'm about to be out the door i'm running late i'm at my losing hair appointment i got on my towel i'm gonna be doing um laser hair removal and oh my thing just popped open <laughs> i'm gonna be doing laser hair removal and tattoo removal i know you guys know that i have a tattoo and so i've been getting that removed a very stupid tattoo and yes it does hurt it hurts the more deeper you go as far as like getting the ink from obviously under your skin but the laser hair removal doesn't hurt it hurts maybe like on a scale from one to ten probably like a three like you can take it so i'm just gonna do my bikini area and then i'm gonna do my laser tattoo removal and so my legs are hella hairy right now but it's all right <laughs> i didn't shave my legs yet let's get it sporty I'm not gonna say it hurts, but it's not comfortable. <laughs> Besides, it's not to either way. Get laser removal. It's better than black. That's all I know. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm about to do my tattoo removal. That hurts, okay? I don't care what no one says. That hurts, but it it be quick. Like it be quicker than the laser hair removal. So. That's fine. All right, so this is my tattoo. It is actually almost gone. Like, I know you can still see it, but like, you guys see it fading? It is literally. So yeah, that's it. And I'm getting this shit off of me. <laughs> worst decision I've ever made in my life. First and only worst decision ever. I would never do that again. But you know, when you're young and dumb, you do dumb things. So, YOLO. Hey guys, so today is the next day and I am getting ready. As you can see, I got my bang on today. My bang yang. I'm getting ready because I'm about to head to like this press day thing with my assistant and i am going to mingle and have a lot of fun today with a lot of big brands um big brands such as like bottega gucci rick owens stuff like that so i'm trying to be very fashion forward so i thought i would my bang today it's giving a little cricket but i'm gonna fix it i have so much stuff to do <laughs> i feel like i'm always saying that like I have so much stuff to do but like seriously i have so many emails to answer i have so many text messages to respond to and people to get back to wires and transfers to send like you know i'm just a busy busy girl and i just can't believe my life is like this like y'all don't understand y'all will understand very soon though because i really am like you know setting myself up for success these are i'm in the trenches basically like this is the years of the hard work i feel like that's why i haven't been like on the scene like that you know like i just been like doing my my stuff behind the scenes you know behind the scenes usually comes out later in life so we will see yesterday i got my laser um when i got home i was just resting y'all i was so tired yesterday like i don't know what has been keeping me up but like i've been so tired lately, and i feel like i haven't got enough sleep like it might be the coffee because there was one week when i feel like i'm always complaining about coffee on this vlog but there was one week when i literally didn't drink coffee at all and i was so energized so I might have to lay off the coffee. Um, I did hear that like drinking warm water is kind of like the same effect. I think the thing about me is that I like the warmness in the morning. You know, like I like to feel, I don't know, like something about that warmness just wakes me up and just gets me started for the day. And I think that's what I experience with coffee. But coffee is like draining me drinking it every day. 
So I'm gonna try warm water. I'm gonna probably try that today. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm doing my makeup. I'm not trying to do anything too crazy, but I'm not trying to do anything too basic, if that makes any sense. I'm, I, feel, I really don't wanna go like extra, extra hard. It's dumb early. And then like, I'm coming right back home, you know? So I'm trying to look cute enough for the people at the event, but I don't wanna put all my energy into it because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm tired and I have stuff to do when I get home. So I'm not trying to waste all my energy into getting ready. I'm gonna do something cute, cute enough, basic. But yeah, anyway, I'm also supposed to be going away soon, so hopefully, hopefully that works. Hopefully I do that. I have no clue what I'm saying right now, but let me get dressed and I'll be back. Hey, hey, already got the world on me. Give a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your bitter. I'ma make a better way. Hey, hey, hey. Can a nigga catch a break?